Hello, welcome. I want to introduce you to my friend Edgar Reynaga from Appleseed. He is here today to tell us more about Appleseed's work for the Share the Plate. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, like I said, my name is Edgar Reynaga. I'm the development associate over at Nebraska Appleseed. For those who don't know, uh, Appleseed is a nonprofit organization based here in Lincoln, but we work statewide. Um, our mission is to fight for justice and opportunity for all Nebraskans. And we accomplish this work by centering our work uh, in four core program areas, including economic justice, child welfare, immigrants in communities, and healthcare access. And we take our work wherever we believe we can do the most good. Uh, and we're able to do that um, because we have really unique uh, staff with us, attorneys and community organizers, policy experts and lobbyists uh, to take our work uh, wherever we can do the most good, whether that's in the community, uplifting the concerns of our friends and neighbors that we hear from across the state, um, at the legislature, uh, talking to our elected officials or in the courthouse, working to ensure laws are implemented and rights are protected. Um, like many of you, we've all deeply felt the effects um, over the last few months, um, especially among our loved ones who have been made vulnerable over the last few months. Uh, and so this whole moment has really reaffirmed the core principles at the heart of our work, whether that's addressing poverty, expanding healthcare access, supporting inclusive communities, and it's renewed our sense of drive and purpose to build a Nebraska where everyone can thrive. Um, that's also meant responding to rapidly evolving issues um, so that's meant for us advocating for protections against housing evictions, helping children and families fight food insecurities as schools close, where folks um, see their hours cut or lost jobs. Um, and it's also moved us to reimagine how we do that work. So we found creative ways to organize and connect with communities across the state to hear from them directly about what's on their mind. Um, a lot of the things that we've heard are families who are worried about finding health care, providing child care, or ensuring that workers have essential protections, including meatpacking workers, that they have the protections they need to keep them, their families, and their communities safe. Um, we've also worked to advocate uh, critical public service programs to help individuals and families through an economic downturn, uh, and really worked through our traditional communication channels to share really vital updates uh, and information so Nebraskans stay informed through uh, a really rapidly evolving time. Um, and all of this work and all the stories we've heard over the past few months um, have also really shown how important the contributions we receive truly are. Um, I'm so proud of the work that our staff has done through a difficult moment. Um, but again, it's shown how important um, the support that we receive really is. Um, so you and everybody who has already given and has given over the years have really sustained the fight for a really strong Nebraska and helping uh, and really helping shape the best parts of what the state can become. Um, so I encourage you to give because um, we have some really important things coming up. We have a census where we're working with traditionally hard to count communities to ensure that their voices are heard, that they're counted and that resources and representation are distributed fairly. We're excited for Medicaid expansion to finally begin so that the 90,000 plus Nebraskans who are eligible can find critical coverage. Again, working to ensure that the services and programs that help families stay afloat um, are strengthened, working to ensure that kids in the child welfare system um, are protected and their rights are ensured as they navigate adulthood. Um, and again, working to build a state where everyone um, can get a fair shake and build a state where everyone can thrive again. Thank you so much. Yeah. I really appreciate you being with us here today, Edgar. And um, I have not met you in person before. And so I would like to find out a little bit more about yourself. If you would like to share, you know, whether you grew up in this community or not, or when you came to Lincoln, you know, when you started working at Appleseed, what attracted you, you know, to work at Appleseed? Yeah, I grew up in Western Nebraska in the Panhandle in Alliance. So if you've ever been to Carhenge, that's Alliance. So that's where I grew up. Um, I think my story is only made possible because a lot of the issues and a, lo a lot of the things that Appleseed has just been such an incredible advocate for for years. As a first generation American whose parents uh, migrant farm work, um, who are actually pastors themselves, um, so much of my story has been possible because of um, organizations like Appleseed. And when I came to college, you know, they always appealed to me. It was always a buzz um, in my classes and among my classmates. And so I got the awesome 
opportunity to intern when I was a junior in college. Um, it was actually during the fall of 2016, so the 2016 election. And that just really moved me to seek a career in the nonprofit world. And I've been working at Appleseed uh, ever since about last spring. And it's been such an incredible journey. Appleseed is filled with the most compassionate, smartest, really just the loveliest people in Nebraska working to do the most good. And it's just really humbling and inspiring to be a small part of that every single day. Awesome. So did you, you interned for a couple of years then? I interned, yeah, for that fall in our Immigrants and Communities program. Again, at a really critical time, right before the election. So I got to see Appleseed work both in preparation for that election and then afterwards. And uh, yeah, that was just the, sort of the moment when I thought, oh, this these folks are great and this office is amazing. And if I can, I would really love to try to make this a career. And I've, I've gotten that chance and it's sort of still felt a little bit like a dream ever since. Yeah. Well, you, I really appreciate your overview also of um, the work that Appleseed does, but also what has become even more important during the pandemic. It is such a strange but beautiful time that we're in, and it's created opportunities that we didn't know that we had, you know, in addition to the challenges. So I appreciate you lifting some of that up. And one of the questions that I've had for uh, many of the people that I've been interviewing is just, you know, what areas of, of the work have been affected by the pandemic. And I appreciate the fact that you lifted up the fact that it's it's just exacerbated some of the chasms really in care and in coverage. Food insecurity is, is a big issue uh, as well as healthcare. And I know that our members and friends really care about all of those issues. So I guess one of the questions I have also is what is um, coming up in the near future. I know that you said you that you and Appleseed are focusing on the census and I, I guess I don't really know if because it's a nonprofit or you know if there is an opportunity to work on the election are you able to do work with the election or do you have to kind of avoid, avoid yeah that? um I gotta keep my c3 hat on yeah um, one of the things that we're still trying to do, even as we rethink how organizing looks in this day and age, we're still working very hard and get out the vote campaigns to let folks know, help folks get registered, um, inform folks how to vote, especially this year when a lot of people are maybe trying to rethink how they vote, perhaps doing sure. mail-in ballots. So that's still been a really core part of what we've done, um, even if our organizing looks a little bit different this year. Yeah. So um, it's still about removing idea. barriers, right? I mean, that's kind of... What I'm hearing you say is that like yeah, removing yeah. barriers to voting on an individual level or on a systemic level. Yeah, and it's been um, a big focus of again how we communicate. I think a lot of the channels that we've normally had, whether it's a website or our social media, um, has become just all more all the more important to make sure that we're sharing up to date information with our supporters and those looking to ensure that. Um, you know, they have to, they know how to vote or any other issues that we're working on, maybe how to you know, Medicaid, how to write to their elected officials right now. Again, like you said, like a lot of the work that we've been doing um, shifted in some ways, but we're still really committed to those longstanding issues that we've been fighting on for years that, as you said, have only really been exacerbated over the last few months. So again, how we do our work has shifted a little bit, but what we're fighting for has really only been reaffirmed and sort of stayed the same. Now, I guess, uh one question about your job in particular um, as a developmental person was part of your job before to go out in the field and to do outreach in some of the farther reaching parts of Nebraska? Yeah, so I, um, a lot of my day-to-day -day work was able to sort of um, say mostly the same. You know, we worked with um, our mission was to make sure, of course, that um, Appleseed was funded and we could find be different sources of income to ensure we could respond quickly to some of those emerging issues. Mm -hmm. um, but I gotta say from you know my experience over the last few months has been um, really inspiring. We've really seen the generosity of everyday Nebraskans just reaching in and giving something to ensure that themselves and their neighbors and people that they know can um, have a little bit of security and certainty during a really uncertain time. It's Lincoln Day was the best we've ever had. Seeing that outpouring support is really inspiring. I think I feel very lucky to sort of be on the receiving end of a lot of that. I know a lot of folks are maybe sort of reaching for good news nowadays. And we've really seen the best of our supporters and people all across Nebraska 
uh, through Absolutely. these last few months. So yeah, it's been really Lincoln great. They broke records again this year, right? In general? Across, yeah, against all organiz all organizations and matching. It was just really a wonderful day, and, and I think um, really showed that how much of a community Lincoln is specifically, how much we really care for each other. Again, some of the ways that we have connected look a little bit different this year. Yeah. Um, but again, people were really generous and just so lovely in, in reaching out, giving their gift and ensuring that, you know, not only Appleseed, but a lot of organizations doing really important, critical, timely work have the support they need to sustain themselves through this difficult moment, but also into the future. Sure. You know, and I have to claim ignorance. I don't really know um, whether Appleseed has tended to do anything like online workshops that kind of thing but i'm just curious if there's anything that you would like to highlight that's coming up or um whether it's i mean something that you would like them to attend or um if it's if really the focus right now is mainly just making sure people respond to the census and get out and vote then that's that's enough right there i suppose but yeah absolutely um again i would encourage folks to visit our website anyappleseed.org there you can learn all about what we do, how we're doing that work in this day and age. Um, it's a great place to find the most up-to-date resources on any issues that we work on that you're curious about. Um, also, maybe we'd want to lift up specifically if you are looking for any resources related to COVID-19 for yourself or a loved one. Um, we have a special place on our website for that. Just go to anyappleseed.org slash COVID-19 resources. And there you can find a whole bunch of information related to a bunch of programs or services in various languages to help you Again, you or someone you know, um, find the help they need uh, during this moment. But also stay tuned to our social media. We have a lot of really great content out there. Um, again, sharing really important information and updates. That's the best way to get involved. Also our blog, anyappleseed.org slash blog, is a great way to get a nice primer on a lot of the issues coming up nowadays and hearing directly from our staff on how things are evolving, how things may affect you, your family, um, or our communities. Great. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, I definitely think that the website is a bevy of information that um, people can really use as a portal to find out what you're doing and, and what you're up to. So I appreciate that reminder. Um, that's all the questions I have for you, but I just really appreciate you joining us today and um, spending the time to let us know about what Appleseed has going on right now. And we will um, be in touch. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. This is such a treat and um, hope you guys all continue to be safe, be well. Um, and yeah, thank you so much again. This was so cool.